Africa is a beautiful continent and our countries are beautiful countries. But we have a shortage of leaders and uh, people with vision. This is the journey to One Africa. Hey guys, for those who have not yet signed up for the membership here in Snow, please help us out by signing up the membership. The link is, is in the description. You can also sign up for Patreon or PayPal, you know, or you can use Super Chat, Super Sticker, Super Things. All of those ways you actually help us here at Snow to do the work we do um in a in a in a, in a high capacity um so there's a news happening here and i just want to share with you guys uh this is not a new news uh these are things that have been happening all the time um but um it, it's important for us to cover as well even though they're negative uh but um yeah i'm not even excited man when i see this news how are you going to be excited talking about this let me even change my posture and how I'm going to address this. The title says, Dozen dead missing after migrants boat sinks of Djibouti. Yeah. 16 people died in a boat accident of Djibouti coast involving migrants from Yemen, according to the International Organization for Migration. The boat capsized with 77 migrants including children and 28 individuals were reported missing during the tragedy 33 survivors were accounted for by the ethiopian ambassadors to djibouti with the in incidents involving ethiopian migrants on monday night what is known as the eastern migrants routes and why it is is it significant the eastern migration route is a Perilia's journey undertaken by tens of thousands of migrants from the Horn of Africa, aiming for Saudi Arabia and Gulf nations. It is significant due to the dangerous conditions and the risk of exploitation by traffickers that migrants face despite the vast number of individuals, in, including women and children embarking on this journey. Migrants on the Eastern Migrants Migration Route face multiple threats including kidnapping, arbitrary arrest, and harsh conditions in Yemen. Almost half of these migrants being women and children makes the journey especially perilous with traffickers often targeting these vulnerable groups to exploit them. So, I can go on and on because this news goes on and on, but let me just say this, man. We have seen actually multiple times the government of Ethiopia picking up people from Saudi Arabia, bringing them to the continent to Ethiopia actually even like I think a month ago there were a lot of people that they were taken away from Saudi Arabia brought to the country and they were they were happy some people they were kissing the ground because they thought living away from the continent where we have issues where we have problems they'll find a better life somewhere else for their families and everybody but when they went there most of them uh they've been turned to prostitutes you know they've been tortured they end up in prison and these are kids and women and um not only that but also you get incidents like this seven seven people in the boat and dozens of them have died um i always love to think and to look at the root cause analysis of these issues why do we have migration problem in the continent why do we have a lot of Africans who want to run away from the continent? Why do we have a lot of migrants running away from the Horn of Africa, going to Europe or going to Middle East, end up dead in the ocean or being killed in the countries or end up in prison where they go? Why? Guys, why? I'm asking you, why? Because there's no safety in the continent. Because there's no a promising future in the continent. And most of these people are unaware 
where they're going. Today, if you ask me to go to South Korea to find a better life, I'll tell you this, that I'd rather stay here than going there. Yes, I, I could live good life. Yes, things are very different. System is good there, education and all those stuff. But I'd rather live my life at home than live my life somewhere else. Because I know this continent with everything, with all the problems that we do have, we can still manage to transform this continent. Only if all Africans come together in solidarity with one unity, deciding to change this continent. Seeing each other as brothers and sisters, not as migrants, because Africans can never be migrants in their own country, in their own continent, and not illegal migrants, they're Africans. That's what I can say. That's what I can encourage you guys. So people are right, running away from the continent because there's no promising future in their own countries and they find a better life somewhere else. But the, this is where I have issues with African Union because um, African Union is an organization that is meant to defend the rights, the everything of our continent and of our countries. But it's failing to do that over and over and over again. Everything is out of the end because every country does whatever the heck they want to do. They treat Africans whatever they want to do. And some of them, they run away and they end up dead. These blood of these people are in our hands, Africans. We see this news right now. It's normal when you see how many people have died. And we think, oh, you know what I'm saying? Why are they running away from the continent? We are here. Why are they running? Ask yourself, yes, why are they running away from their country? Guys, let's just play our part. Guys, let's just unite. African Union, do your job. Your job is to unite this continent. Your job is to make sure that our countries are safe and we're living the safe life in the continent. We have a promising future for our children. That is your job. Do your job. Leaders, politicians of this continent, do your job. It's, it's, uh, do you find a pleasure seeing our people running away from the countries and dying there in the seas? and being mistreated in the countries they go? Do you find pleasure in that? Why can't you just do your job? And if you cannot, why can't we cooperate with one another? Tired of seeing our people dying all the time. Tired of seeing people, you know, losing their lives in the middle of the ocean. You know, if, 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 you, if you go there and ask them at that very moment, right before they die i think they'll be really very sad that we're running away to try to find a better life somewhere else but look at us dying here i would rather die in my country rather than dying in the middle of the ocean trying to find a better life that last moment final moments of their lives imagine what is going on in their mind so we don't think about this enough the point of actually going extra mile and doing something and changing the lives of our people. Africa is a beautiful continent and our countries are beautiful countries. But we have a shortage of leaders and uh, people with vision. And if you're listening to this, if you're watching this, the continent needs you. Our people away from the continent, it needs you. For our brothers and sisters who are looking forward to run away from the continent, I understand why you do that. I understand. If there's any other way, if there's any other way, and perhaps I don't know, but if there's any other way, Remain in the continent. Because we don't want to see you dying in the middle of the ocean and being mistreated like the way our people are being mistreated all over the world. So please, and it's my call to African Union, let's remove these borders because most of these people are trying to move to other countries and they end up in prison. They're being called illegal immigrants. And they're Africans. And this is their continent. So please deal with that. Perhaps our people are not going to try to run away from the continent and they'll just go to the next country and find shelter there. 
Perhaps our people, their lives will be saved and preserved. Perhaps. So why don't we why don't we do our job, African Union, from preventing that, from opening up the borders? And why don't we, leaders of Africa, open up the borders for our people in Africa so that when they come to find a shelter and a better life, we actually give them opportunity. Rather than sending them away from the continent and dying in the ocean. The blood is in our hands. Nobody can run away from that. Every single African, the blood is in our hands. So let's do our part. Let's do our part because too much blood in our hands. Too much blood in our hands and we cannot stay silent letting these things happen. Leaders, do your job. African Union, do your job. Africans, let us do our job. One Africa right now.